We're alive. We're live. Are we live? We're live. Mm. What's up, you guys? It is I, Erica, and it is he, Jeffrey. We are artists till death. We do resin things and also all the art things. Today, we're doing countertop things. This is a laminate Formica-esque countertop. And um, she didn't want it to be those things. So we are gonna change them. This is actual marble granity things uh, that we're also gonna be doing. It feels heavy, it feels real. Like if you look under it where like the tiles meet something else, you can see that the marble design goes all the way through, so marble. Anyways, we got to LA this morning and we will be doing this kitchen. So I wanted to go over how to properly mask off a kitchen so that you don't ruin it while you do resiny things. Do you want to take this? Um, yeah. Or do you want to sh do you want to show or you want to take? Okay. So let's start at bottom up. We always uh, mask off the floor at least a couple of feet out because you never know what the splash zone is going to be, and if you miss it and it sets, it's a pain to get off later. So since it's two feet, two feet, we just did the whole floor. A little Dexter action. And then we came out here. We're gonna cover this side of that oven. And we did this as well. So we can kind of have an area to put stuff. And prep. So we did the floor first and then did tape. We did, actually we did tape first. Then we put the plastic over the tape so that just in case it went under, there's tape under the plastic. Right, well, back up action. We overlap, we overlap a lot of things because resin's sneaky and it's gonna do what you don't want it to do. So uh, we also tape up the walls and anywhere we're gonna paint, we have a paper masking or splash zone. Yes. And we will definitely put a piece right there. I forgot about that part. <laughs> so, Come around there. We, just like the outside on the baseboards, we pre-taped and then put the paper and then over-taped. Again, that's because we don't want anything to get under and get on anything we can't wipe it off of. Because it's easy to wipe it off when you notice it but when you're doing something like a countertop, it's very easy to not see where it drips or splashes or gets to until it's too late. And I don't have her wall color paint, so better safe than sorry. Anything that you do prep like this, motto is better safe than sorry. I'm sorry I look like I haven't slept in a week. So appliances and drawers, we taped the top of each drawer and the top of each appliance before taping the tarps to it. Yeah, we pulled the drawers out slightly, taped the drawers, pu pushed them back in, and then put uh, put the tarp over it. You can see where and then we taped added it. tape prior to the tarp, right here. We did that all around the top of everything. All right. Um, these drawers happen to have like a, like a down slant because the building's kind of older. So we're taping it so that if something does run in, it doesn't run down and pull, it runs down and out. You don't want to have resin pooling on your tape because it may tear it when you like, take it off. Rhonda's in the house. Hi Rhonda. She's probably looking <clears> at this <throat> like, oh, no. She made that. That's, this person put that, uh, what is that? Where? The pink fridge. Uh, it's shelf paper. Shelf paper. 
It's like our contact. Page. Everything in pretty much. Everywhere. She has a lot of pink. She had somebody come in and paint that on her wall. She's got the pink, pink, pink door, pink, pink wall. Pink. <laughs> All the pink stuff, pink chairs. Her pink is pink. That's the stand mixer we're matching. Yeah. And there's a blender. Rhonda, anything that we're saying that's wrong, fix it. Fix it. Rhonda is like queen countertop, so if she says something, listen. So, she's probably looking at us like that's extra, but. I, I love to do extra. extra. <laughs> also, sinks. If you have like a drop sink, that you may want to resin do that, but this sink is not in our estimate, so it's taped off. We basically Dexter the kitchen. Yes. Then, Where it could possibly get, and it's always the corners, like these places that are really tricky because it'll get under and it'll kind of go underneath there and then it'll drip on, which is a nightmare because you don't see it because you leave the plastic up. So I just put tape all over here and then I put tape here and here on the actual uh, cabinets. And then I put the tape over the plastic and then the plastic over that. We tape, plastic, and then tape. Yeah. And also paper. So the next step we gotta do is we're gonna tarp off this part of the- Yeah, we'll just put a big, stove. we'll just put a big top here so we can probably use this to mix stuff on. Right. It's going to be a mixing shelf. The next step is going to be sanding. Sanding and cleaning off the bonding primer. Yes. Uh, and then we're going to paint um, a color. We're going to make it colors and then we're going to do the art layer so but today the last thing we do today is going to be the bonding primer and base painting and then we have to let that off gas degas ungas or to let it rest yeah for overnight so that it doesn't trap those gases under the resin and it could cause it to yellow and since we're doing a lot of white you, it's horrible so we don't want that so we're going to let that uh do its thing overnight and then tomorrow we're going to come back in and we're going to do the art layer let that rest overnight and then we're going to come back in and do the blood coat flared coat all goes well <clears throat> nothing lands in it this place is a lot like our studio in that there's not like a wall that separates the kitchen from dusty things yeah so we possibly could Put a drop cloth right up there. I just, like, I I'm thinking, thinking about. Since we're doing this, and this is so long. Yeah, that kind of sticks up we'd there. We'd have to unroll an entire tarp, which is doable. Rhonda, how would you prep this marble? Just the same way we do everything else? Yeah, I hope I hope she knows that these are like. Oh, I told her. Yeah. I can't do anything about tiles. I'm not filling in. None of that. So, that's the game plan. And I'm not sure we're gonna live while we do this. The art layer, or if we're going to just pre-record it. We'll see. Maybe we'll do some for the gold or something. Yeah. It's gonna look really good. Rhonda helped me with a sample board. The client loved it, and that's what we're here to do. Do do. Any questions? Didn't look like it. Let me we're show you guys. Oh, yeah, we're watching some college ball. Let's see if we can get you a sunset. She lives right at the edge of Beverly Hills. Kind of see some.
sunset. I went down, what did we go down, Hollywood Boulevard? Uh, we went down Sunset. Sunset. And Santa Monica. It feels awesome outside. It does. Yeah. All right, let's get to sanding. Okay. We're going to sand live or we're going to kill it? Um, how are we going to sand live? I don't know. <laughs> the, the, it would just be like... <laughs> right, watch us do this. <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them as comments down below. If you sent me any messages to our business line, uh, I haven't answered them since uh, we went to Hurricane Delta Ground Zero. So please be patient with me. I probably won't really get to answering questions until we get back from LA because this is a full-time gig when we're on location that it has all of our attention. So anyways, follow us on our, uh, on all of our other social media things, see live footage while we're doing this. And if you have any questions, leave them down below or shoot me a text at 214. Or suggestions of what we should do or how we should do it. We're not gonna see it. <laughs> by the time they give it. I'm just saying for tomorrow. Sure. 214-402-9996. I won't be getting to that phone text until we get back. So if you have a suggestion on anything or what you would like to see, leave it in the comment box down below this video. But somebody will be there doing orders, yes. Yeah, we'll, we have someone doing orders while we're out. So if you are ordering things, you'll still get them in a timely manner. Cause you know, <clears throat> if you order paint or resin from us, we'd like to ship out the same day if at all possible. So yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through and we'll see you guys mañana. Bye. I said bye. I got you Rhonda. Yeah Rhonda.